All right, this is uh, how I lost fitness uh, despite doing an average of about 15 hours a week, maybe more. Uh, so anyway, as you can see here, here is my training for, uh, well, basically when I got to Thailand. So anyway, I arrived in the old Thailand pretty early on in May. So you can see here I did 10 hours this week, 11 hours, and then we basically got back up to 15 hours. So this is my first step up, Doi Step 318, what's I believe it was. And you can see I'm doing all this training here, 16 hours, 15 hours a week. 17 hours a week, 19 hours in the week, 11 hours in the week, a bit of a rest week, 15 hours in the week, 15 hours in the week, 15 hours in the week. Um, actually, that's more August. But anyway, I actually lost fitness. Um, you might be like, what? How did you uh, lose fitness? But I basically did because I didn't really do any structure. So that was, I'd say, is the main thing. If you don't do structure, um, then you're not gonna get faster. So then you can see this is my first effort, 317 weighted average power, 317 watts for 32 minutes, pretty solid. And here's my next effort when I decided that it was, um, I wanted to try and get a PR up Doi's tap, and for half an hour, 310 watts. Okay, I will admit that um, on this particular one, the power is a lot more spiky because I was behind a motorbike, so it wasn't ideal in terms of like holding the bass power, but I had like no fins. I thought I'd be able to hold 330 watts, but it just didn't happen. Um, but anyway, you can see basically, if you don't do structure, if you just noodle around, then you're not gonna get fast. So we can take this last four week block of training before I did, um, before I did my TT, and you'll be able to see what, what I did. So rest day, and this is, this is like a classic thing where it, you do f um, four hours moving time, let's say, uh, somehow. I'm not really sure how that's four hours moving time, but anyway, we'll take it. Um, but you can see I didn't really do anything. So I did 400 watts up this little climb, I mean, it's like four minutes, 40, 400 watts. Yeah, it's decent, but it's not, it's not mega, mega. But only doing one of them, like that, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Um, and then on this one here, you can see 36 minutes up the doy, pacing 270 watts. So that's not tiring. Like, this isn't training. It's like a temp, bit of tempo and threshold. It just doesn't happen. Okay, I then, you know, the, like this week again, it was like, you know, cruisy, didn't really do anything. Doy calm, I had a puncture, then rode again. Recovery spin, Starbucks just literally does nothing. Average watts 160 for like three hours, just pointless. Uh, okay, fine, I, I did an effort up Deutsche Tap, but only one effort. I mean, it's not much in a week. And then this is a solid endurance ride. So you can see my intensity for this week is practically zero. And again, the same thing. I did a bit of pacing, then I did a, got a KOM, then I had a recovery day. And then again, I did some pacing, but it's like tempo, like 35 minutes of tempo. Like, come on, it's not really tiring enough. Uh, and then, yeah, this is again, Starbucks ride, it's too easy. Um, this was, I did an effort up Deutsche Tap, and then, you know, did some tempo, but I mean, did some thrash, like zone two, again, one effort in the week, easy endurance, doesn't really get gains, unfortunately. Right, again, we have rest day Monday, then we have uh, Doi Inton. Okay, that probably did elicit quite a lot of training gains, two hours at like 270 watts does help. But again, immigration, just like easy rides, easy rides part two. Um, I think I got a KOM, but like a bit of pacing, but again, nothing crazy. So you can see I did 491 Ks this week, but like, let's be honest, I, I was gonna do my doy step effort here. Maybe it would've been good, but if you think I was gonna do it here, and then two weeks later I had zero form, so potentially that was why. And I wrote to Chang Rai, that's good, like zone two stuff, but nothing crazy, crazy good. And then five minute power test, again, five minutes, like come on, man. I think I did a bit of pacing, and then five minutes, like it's just not enough intensity. And then again, doy step, I was trying that weekend as well. So this weekend, I think Hayden forgot to come on the motorbike. This one was like the the uh, door steps closed, and then here again was like cru cruising, just a recovery day. Doy calm effort. I mean, one effort, maybe some thirty fifteens, but nothing crazy. Again, two hours easy zone two, just pointless training. Um, I think this is me getting an, a couple more KOMs, but like not really hard enough. Then again, rest day, and then this is when I did my effort. So you can see I did a lot of training. But I just, I just cruised around. Like if maybe I'd done like a four hour full gas effort, I would have actually had some form. Uh, and then in the last week, I still had decent enough power on this. I think it held like 290 watts or something for like an hour almost or 50 minutes, I think. That's like decent, but it's not, it's, uh, I was bonking slightly on that ride as well. Yeah, I had like 290 watts for 50 more, four minutes. I mean, it's not dreadful. Uh, let's see what, what the kilo is that. 4.8 is probably more like 4.7, because I think I'm a weight in here is 60, but I'm more like 62. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So you can train a lot and get zero gains. But on the other hand, I can make hella gains on training six, set, six seven hours a week probably, if I do structured intervals. So basically the only rides I do are completely structured. 
but having said that, like I enjoy just riding for the fun of it. Like this is just because I wanted to ride. I didn't necessarily need that many gains. I just need to have a big aerobic base before hill climb season. So it wasn't like, I mean, it's always nice to be fast, but like it's not, it's not mega mega important. Um, but anyway, yeah, there you go. So from 317 watts for like half an hour to I could barely do um, 310 watts for half an hour. And um, I mean, obviously the power is slightly different. You can see it's very surgy, but even so, it's just. Uh, it's just not ideal to be honest. Um, maybe we'll, ha we'll actually have a look, quick look at the normalized power for that and see if um, if that does help us at all. But yeah, I just say the main thing is just make sure you have the enough intensity per week, at least two very hard sessions. So maybe two five times five minute VO2 max efforts. So 120% of FTP, 105 to 120% of FTP. Um, maybe have you know five times five five minutes rest. That's like a classic. You do that and you just get so many gains, like for sure, I just know you can. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what date this was. I believe it might have been the 28th of July. It is hard to tell. Oh, 21st of July, okay, 21st of July, here we go. Um, so yeah, we got my best 10 minute, my third best 10 minute power, but that's like not hardly mega. Um, but anyway, we will go on the analyze and we will see what the normalized power is for that. Because to be fair, the normalized might be slightly higher. So overall normalized was 240 for the right. Uh, uh, here we go, 29 minutes. Uh, yeah, now nah, normalized was like 3, uh, no, sorry, average power was 311 and normalized power was 317. So, you know, it's, I guess it's slightly better, helps me a little bit. But even so, you can see I didn't gain fitness at all. I sort of roughly maintained it and you think like, that is just because, well, I guess I'm at high fitness, so I do need to do quite a lot of work to maintain it. But even having said that, it's just the importance of doing specific intervals. And um, I made a video recently, which is why people don't get fast. And that was mainly off the back of me realizing why I wasn't getting fast is because I didn't do any specific intervals. I didn't have any goals. Um, and you know, I didn't really train, like test myself that often. But anyway, I hope this helps you. If you are reaching a plateau, I mean, it's just like, maybe watch my other video about um, how you, why people don't get faster. I'll leave that in the description, but mainly it's just make sure you do your intervals properly and don't just cruise around if you want to get fast. But if you want to have a good time, then do what I did because I had a great time just cruising around. I mean, 400Ks a week, it sounds big, but it's not really when all you do is you ride your bike all day. I mean, it's just, it's, it's pretty chill to be honest. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'll see you in the next vid.